In this video, I'm going to install the Fides Dragonfly on my ANET ET4. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review, news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. A few weeks ago, Fides has sent me a Dragonfly BMS to install on my Ender 3 Pro. I choose the ANET ET4 to install this upgrade. Dragonfly BMS is going to be installed on the ANET ET4 because the hot end is similar as the Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3, which kind of Ender you have. But in this case, I'm going to install the Dragonfly BMS on my ANET ET4. So let's get into the installation of the Dragonfly from Fides on the ANET ET4. So first we are going to take the cover off, put on the side, and like that. Then we unscrew the hot end. So we unscrew the coupler for the PTFE tube. We unscrew those two parts. So in the box you will find the hot end together with the silicon sock and also the nozzle. The nozzle is here on that and on that place. On the left side from the box you have a little as assembly kit. In that kit are two spanners, some Allen keys, a, a spare clip to hold the coupler in place, two very tiny screws. Those are reserve screws for if you lose those two. You have two bigger screws, you have a brass tube and you also have a thermal grease paste within the package. So let's get to the first step. The first step is to take the brass tube and in case of the Ender 3 or the ANET ET4, you have a little thermistor with a bowl on the end, a glass bowl. You take the tube and you put it right inside of there. Try to put it as far as possible. Try to move it a little bit to see if you can push it all the way in. So once that is done, then we take the hot end. For the next part, we put the nozzle into the heater block. Just hand tight. This one, you are going to hot tighten it. So let's install the hot end to the bracket. So now we are going to install the Dragonfly hot end onto the carriage. So as you can see, the backside is a little bit round, but if you put the screws in together, you can fairly put it nicely together. Before we are going to continue, let's put the Capricorn tube into the coupler. Remove the clip, take the tube, put the tube in, all the way down, hold it in place, put the clip right onto the coupler. Snap it right to in place and it is tight. The biggest spanner, I will hold the hot end on the back side, not too long. And then I take the, the seven millimeter. Then I take this one from the ones that I have. I put it here, take the spanner, just hot tighten it. If you, in case you have something that you can measure your torque, then use that one instead. I don't have it and I do it this way. Not too tight, 
you don't want to break the nozzle. The PTFE tube, the Capricorn tube is in there. I have installed also the sock and made sure that everything is hot tightened. So let's put the shroud back or the cover back. Be careful. So I noticed that when I want to put this one back, that this part is in the way. Let's remove that. Is that the fan duct is a little bit too big. And so the Dragonfly from Fetus is installed on the ANET ET4. If you want to buy this Dragonfly hot end, I will put a link in the description of this video where you can buy it. You have the BMS and you have the BMO version of this Dragonfly hot end from Fetus. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. While you're there, please check out the merch store to support this channel. Please like this video, share this video with other people. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sorry, 3D prints. Bye-bye.